Hi there, it's Sam from poodles.co.uk. Thank you very much for joining me today. Thank you for joining me in Poodles Advent Countdown. 24 projects coming out to you two a week. There's been loads already. We've still got some more to come. Mondays and Fridays all the way through and into December. And this is the project we're going to make today. Super simple, super quick. It's a lovely triangular bag and there's cutting involved. Um, as opposed to, well there is scoring obviously, but there's gonna be cutting involved to get the triangular shape. Snap shut with a magnet if you're giving to children use velcro dots or some other means of closure and then just a nice glimmery pattern there so quite simple this is all about the paper now this is the festive farmhouse design series paper pack which i love and this one has got the wood grain on the background and actually this is from the same suite and i i really genuinely can't decide which paper i'm going to use but i'm kind of restricted by the fact that i've only got handful of sheets of 12 by 12 left so I have this one which has got the stripes on the back I've got the lovely grey stars oh that's got stripes I've got a couple of this one which has got the wood grain stripes I'm actually not so keen on that one this is the one I used before what's that check that's that one and that is it that I've got in 12 by 12 so I kind of thought I might go with that one and I think I'm going to are the papers in the pack I think I'll probably show you most of them now um, this has been a much, much beloved favourite of mine, but this one has as well. I, I do believe this is pack number three that I'm on here, and you do need 12 by 12. Okay, so 12 by 12, 30 by 30 centimetres. My, my scoring tool. Okay, so on the first side, you're going to score it at... So if you're... Um, if you're wanting to keep your stripes in that direction, turn them to the so that they would be that way round. Okay, because we're going to we're going to score this line, this line, and this line on this way. So if you want your stripes, turn your stripes that way and score it at two inches, six inches, and eight inches. And in metric that is. 5, 15 and 20 and then turn it to the side and score it at 2 and 10 which is 5 and 25 and I feel like that's going to be too much folded over no it's not, it's fine <laughs> I'm so good at it from the wrong direction I'm questioning myself, how dare I question myself <laughs> I write so many measurements down that I do sometimes think, is that right? I'm not really sure. Yeah, that's the front. <laughs> okay, so burnish everything. And then the sides as well. Okay, so the first thing is get your front and back the right way around. So this is how it's going to come round and close up like that. So the first thing you need to do is get rid of this square. So you've got rectangle, square, rectangle, square. Square is what you want to get rid of. Get rid of both of them. So just chop those away. Okay, so it's going to come up and that's going to come, come round like that. So you need to come into these squares here and separate them from the main body. Okay, but then you also need to make them form a triangle. So this is where you're going to have to be brave and you hack off like that. So you're cutting away not at equal points but you're just chopping chunks out so you're left with a little triangular tab and re repeat the same round here so you're not going center to there and there we're just making a triangle okay so that's going to come round this one needs to come round as well as does that one because it all needs to close up so this is when the fun games come 
first thing you want to do, get hold of that part there and you will see that this needs to be cut straight down there. So fold it up, get hold of it, fold this one away from yourself and get hold of that and bring that round. Okay? I'm going to have to turn it round so I can see what I'm doing. Bring that round because you need to chop and just be brave. I can't do this with we <laughs> trying to show you at an angle that you can see and cut as well. Okay, so we've just bravely cut that bit away and then repeat the same. Okay, don't worry about the fact that it's sticking out at the bottom. I'm going to trim that off after. Oh, well, that's just unfolded itself. I hope that's still okay. Yes, that's fine. Because we're going to cut those bits away when we're glued. So, whew, let's do the same thing again. Fold it away. So you're gripping hold of it. Fold that one away. Bring it round. Seriously, I'm using all extra bits of my body here to be able to show you and not lose it. Okay, trim, trim. Do the same, keeping hold of this part here. There probably is some sort of a measurement thing, you know, but I'm not worried. I do have an itch. <laughs> when your hands are full, you always get an itch, don't you? Okay. And trim that away. Right. So, we're left with this very weird sort of a shape. Fold these in, get some glue going on there. Fast fuse will do. You need to, again, come round and make sure you're lined up first. And then this is what will be the inside and the back. And so is that one. on there, brilliant, and this one is as well, oh, it was, there we go, okay, so we've got bits sticking out, don't worry about those, glue on here, not too far down the bottom because you know, it's going to be sticking off, and again, bring it round, bring it closed, hold it, pinch it, however you want to keep it shut, Glue on, glue on. So that is all now sealed up, brilliant. And we can just trim off these extra bits. Oh, I did that on the last one. I cut open a hole at the bottom. Do not do that. There we go. How cute. Right, so I need a little piece of cardstock that's that colour, but I haven't got any that colour. Not handy, so I'm going to use vanilla because I haven't got any of that handy either. What colours on the inside? I'm not sure. Oh, there's a bit of vanilla. Okay, so a couple of little half circles because we need to use magnets. Well, I'm going to use magnets. Like I say, if you're using this, with, if you're gifting this to children, do not use magnets. Um, Velcro dots, Velcro coins, whatever you call them. Um, use those. Magnets and children, never a great combination. So I've just pushed that on there. And then my little half inch circle over the top to take some of the strength out of that magnet. They are so strong. The other one on there. Whoops. I'm going to glue dot on that and again just fold it up and hopefully it will leave it in place. This is how strong these magnets are. 
they don't want to separate. <laughs> I've got it, it's half undoing and then it's not. Oh well the glue's in place. That's a good good enough for me. Okay, push it really firmly. Neodymium eight millimeter by nine mil by one millimeter, I can't speak properly. Eight millimeter by one millimeter. Amazon or eBay, the last time I, I used these, everybody said I can't find that seller on eBay anymore. So I don't know who it is that you maybe get them from, but let me spell it for you. Neo Neodymium, eight millimeter by one millimeter. That's I really hope you can read that. <coughs> That's better. Eight millimeter by one millimeter. Near diamond, eight millimeter by one millimeter. Amazon, all sorts of places like that will find them. Okay, stamping now. So Merry Christmas from the Farmhouse Christmas. So it's a big circle stamp. I only want the bit in the middle, so I'm going to find a big old block and my cherry cobbler ink. And put it towards the bottom. And then I've got my lovely classic, no it's not, it's an everyday label punch. Grab my trimmer to take off that little extra bit that I don't want. And then my big two and a quarter inch circle punch. The luscious. Oh no, I haven't got any red left. Oh no! <laughs> oh, I have. <gasps> Phew! Who's going to say? I have another sheet of red from the Glimmer Paper Pack. And let me grab a couple of dimensionals on the back. Pretty much across the middle ish, roughly. More on there. And I'm going to position that over here. Now, as you can see, it's over the lip a little bit but not loads so it's not going to hinder you opening and closing it just makes a nice little pretty extra so that on there and my original one here and i think they're really rather nice yeah like don't do what i do and try and cut the bottom off i managed to successfully cut the bottom off on the original one don't do that but nice packaging, sweet packaging, fun to make, not as complicated as I made it look. I just couldn't, it was very difficult for me to position and hold everything so that you could still see and that I could still cut much easier when you've got it laid down. Anyway, thank you ever so much for joining me. I hope to speak to you very soon. Bye.